So uh, I'm Manny Velasquez. I teach at uh, Santa Clara University. Um, I've been teaching there too many years now to count, since um, 77, 1977. Um, I used to teach in the philosophy department, which is where I uh, was tenured. Uh, and then I um, uh, was offered a chair over in the business school in business ethics, the Dirksen uh, Chair of Business Ethics, which I uh, took. And I've been, since then, since um, I think it was 1980, I've been teaching in the business school. Uh, I started off teaching uh, courses in general ethics in the philosophy department. Then I was asked uh, by the dean of the business school to develop some courses in business ethics. I thought, well, I'll, I'll read up a little bit on business in the summer, and I'll be ready in the fall. Uh, as I started reading, I realized that was a crazy idea. So I went back to the classroom, um, got the equivalent of an MBA at our own school, our own institution. And then uh, two years later, I finally started teaching business ethics. I taught it for a few years while I was in the philosophy department, but then I came over to the business school, and that's about all I've been doing over in the business school. And that was developing a, a framework for thinking through uh, ethical issues in business. Um, at that time, no, no people weren't quite sure um, how to bring together uh, moral philosophy and the issues that business people had to deal with. How do you bring these very abstract concepts to bear on the problems that business people have in their day-to-day -day work? So um, from my teaching with the students, I had developed this fairly simple framework for thinking through an issue in business ethics. Basically, it was uh, asking uh, three questions. Um, is what you're doing, does what you're doing uh, respect people's rights? the rights of the people that are involved? Um, is uh, what you're doing consistent with uh, fairness? Is it just? And thirdly, is what you're doing uh, contributing to the overall welfare of a group or society as a whole? Um, any philosopher will tell you that I'm looking at three different streams of um, business ethics research. One, the right stream starting with Immanuel Kant, going on through Locke and so on. Uh, the other one, uh, theories of justice, which begins with Aristotle and goes on through Rawls. Um, and then the third, uh, utilitarianism, which was articulated uh, in the 19th century by Bentham and John Stuart Mill. So that's one of the things that I think I contributed to the field, was this way of thinking through business ethics and bringing um, ab these abstract philosophical uh, notions to bear on the practical problems. Uh, another uh, issue that I worked a lot on and actually still work on uh, sometimes was um, uh, what is the nature of a corporation? Not what's the purpose of a corporation, but what, uh, what is it? Um, and the problem on which I focused was whether the corporation was the kind of thing that can be morally responsible for what it does. And my view uh, then was, and still is, that groups, corporations, organizations, and so on, cannot be morally responsible for what they do. That human beings are morally responsible for their actions, and in fact, they are morally responsible for whatever corporate groups do, but corporations themselves are not morally responsible. They're not the same kind of creatures that human beings are. They don't think, they don't sense, they don't feel sorry, they don't have emotions, and so on. And so they don't have the equipment to be morally responsible for what they do. And so if anybody is to blame for what corporations do, it should be the people that are inside and in control of the actions of the corporation, not the corporation itself. So my views on the future of business ethics. Um, I'm, I'm actually um, now fairly pessimistic, uh, not of our field, business ethics in particular, but of our future, um, because I do think that we have reached a point, we've passed the point uh, of um, being able to do much about 
as something uh, that I think is going to overtake all of us, and that is, of course, climate change. Um, I think some very tough times lie ahead of us, uh, not just as individuals, but also for our organizations and our business organizations. So I think the big issues that are going to come up in the future are not going to be about what should we do about climate change. I think it's going to be too late to do much about that, but um, what should companies and organizations start doing to adjust to the, um, I almost want to say, catastrophes uh, that lie ahead of us? Um, how do you uh, try to protect what's left of the environment? Uh, how do you try to protect your employees um, uh, as uh, disaster after disaster keeps overtaking us, um, as our forests uh, continue to burn up, as um, water resources become extremely scarce, as food production declines, as all these different things happening, I think the critical issues are going to be around what should companies be doing to deal with all of these um, negative results of uh, climate change. So what can uh, we as ethicists do? Well, I think, um, I think the uh, instinctive thing, um, the instinctive action of businesses is probably going to be to try to protect themselves and continue doing what they're doing. And I think that uh, the role of business ethics is going to be to remind businesses that, um, um, that there are other more important issues that they uh, better start thinking about. Um, I, I'm not sure how effective that's going to be because I think that the uh, pressures on businesses to continue to try to do what they've been doing are going to be fairly strong and fairly powerful. Um, but I think that's going to become the role of ethicists, is to be the, the prophets, if you want, uh, in this new environment that we're going to, to be entering in the next several years. So I do think that uh, the work that I did early in my career on this framework and way of thinking uh, through ethical issues has had an impact on the way uh, companies, or employees, at least employees and companies, think through the ethical issues that they have. Has, um, have I had any real impact on what companies have actually done? Uh, I hope so, uh, but I tend to think probably not. I think that um, the work that we, all of us, uh, all of business uh, ethicists, um, members of the uh, uh, Society for Business Ethics, as well as uh, members of the Social Issues in Management Division, of the Academy of Management and other ethicists working around the world, I think that their group effort has tended to put uh, uh, pressures on businesses and shown them how to uh, develop ways of thinking about ethical issues. And I think that has had an influence on companies. Um, the work that Kirk Hansen did, who, as I say, was the director of the center there at Santa Clara University, um, with uh, the government uh, and with um, implementing uh, requirements on uh, ethics programs in companies also had a tremendous impact on um, what companies have done uh, in this area. To some extent, that's been co-opted by lawyers uh, who have a different way of thinking about ethical issues. Uh, but I think that the work that Kirk has done, that all uh, business ethicists as a whole have done, um, still can, has had a good influence uh, on businesses.